Pauli is trying to solve the summation sigma from k of being 9 up to 13, uh, 13 minus k squared using the formula uh, is sum of n terms equals n over 2 times a1 plus a n. She substitutes the values n equals 4, a equals sub 1 is negative 68, and a sub n is negative 156. So discover the sum being at negative 448. What can be determined about Holly's work? Well, let's first let's check her work. The way sigma works, if you're not really familiar with this, is sigma is going to plug in the numbers from 9 all the way to 13, the counting numbers. So we'll plug in 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 into this equation to get values. So to find the first term, what would happen is it would plug in this bottom number here, 9, into the equation. So you'd have 13 minus 9 squared. Now 9 squared is 81. And so this would equal 13 minus 81, which simplifies to be negative 68. Now that's a sub 1 is what Holly had. So that's good. There's no mistake there. She also finds a sub n here. Now a sub n would be the last term. So the last term you'd actually plug in is 13. So a sub n we would find by plugging in 13. So I'd say 13 minus instead of k, I'll put replace it with 13 squared. So here k was 9. Here the last one, k is 13. All right, now if we plug that in, we would have 13 squared, I believe, is 169. And so when we subtract that, we get negative 156, which is what we wanted to get right there. So that part's good. Now there's an n of 4. Now what that means is the total terms is 4. Now, as we can see here, I found K9, or I plugged in K9 and 13, but what I did not plug in is in the middle here, you would have uh, some terms. Let me see if I can just slide this down. What I would do is I would need to plug in a K value of 10 for A sub 2, a K value of 11 for A sub 3, and a K value of 12 for A sub 4, and at that stage, we'd find out that when we get to 13, that a sub n is actually a sub 5. So I can tell you what we can determine right now is this, that she said n is 4. This is incorrect. This is incorrect since there are 5 k values. Um, and the values are k would equal 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. That's why, so this sum was off because what we should have had here is a 5. To get the correct sum, if I want to get the correct sum, is I would say s of 5, since there are 5 terms, equals 5 over 2 times a sub 1, which a sub 1 we said is negative 68, plus negative 156. So plus and negative just would become minus 156. That's our a sub n here. If I plug it in, it should give us the same value as this does in the calculator. Let's check it. So I'm going to clear this out real quickly. And we'll plug in. So we said that s of 5 is 5 over 2 times negative 68 minus, was it 156 or 153? I've forgotten, 156. So we're saying that should be the sum. So if I do the sigma, which is the button next to 9, and type in what they originally gave me, I should get this value. Okay, 9 to 13, and the value was 13 minus k squared. Notice that, okay, somewhere I have made a slight mistake. Let's see if we can figure out what, what I messed up here in my math. Um, Let's try this here. This very likely could be the mistake I made. Uh, let's see where what I did wrong here. Oh, and a very simple mistake here. What I discovered the problem is, is this says, this is uh, trying to find the summation, and we use the formula. The formula she was using was a sum of arithmetic. But if you look at it, the arithmetic would be like a linear. This is, here's the problem right here, is that these, this is not linear. This is quadratic. And so that's the problem we're running into here, and that's why this would never actually give us the right answer. 
So the correct answer is the negative 550, like the calculator said. That would have been our sum. If we weren't sure, we could have gone through and plugged in all these other values. We could have solved for them by saying like 13, and we plug in 10 here, minus 10 squared, here 13, minus 11 squared, and here 13 minus 12 squared. And in each one of those, that would have been like 13 minus 100. And that would have given us negative 87. And here we would have 13 minus 121, which when you subtract that, we get negative one, oops, sorry, I had a negative, 108, like that. And then here we would have 13 minus 144, which is negative 131. And as you look at this, you'll see that uh, when you add all these up, you would get that negative 550 if you add these up in the calculator. So that's the problem with using this formula. It would never actually work. But as pertains to this problem, this is what you're looking for. Incorrect sentence, any equal point.